let us discuss about manage communications so we are in the execution phase of the project we already discussed about direct and manage project work manage project knowledge manage quality acquire resources develop team and manage team these topics we already covered in the previous videos in this video let us focus on manage communications generally there is a saying like 90 percentage of the project managers time goes into communication and initially i thought it is an exaggerated number but actually when you then i realized that okay that is a fact of life because as project managers we talk to people we listen to people we talk to team talk to contractors subcontractors owners you know we primarily it is emails answering emails so it is oral communication written communication we we speak with gestures so 90% of the project managers time goes into communication and another biggest challenge project managers face during project execution is lack of progress information on time and they are unable to make crucial decisions so manage communi planning communications and then uh, managing communications during the execution time of the project is very very important for the smooth functioning or running of the project managed communications consists of collection of information collection creation distribution storage retrieval managing monitoring and disposition of information with respect to project i'll repeat collection of data creation of information distribution storage retrieval managing monitoring and timely disposition to the right people so this many things are are involved in managed communications communication modes it can be communication can be in the form of written communication spoken communication formal communication informal communication it can be in the form of gestures and uh, the media it can be through different media and proper selection of or the choice of words uh is also important for effective communication communication types communications can be internal communication that is internal to the project external communication maybe as a project manager you are talking to the press or other statutory bodies that is external communication formal communication you are communicating formally then informal communication you are communicating things in a informal manner then there is a hierarchical focus upward communication a team member communicating to the project manager is an example of an upward communication similarly a project manager communicating to the program manager that is an example of a upward communication then downward communication the project manager communicating to the team is an example of a downward communication horizontal communication a project manager communicating to other project managers maybe to the peers in the organization that is an example for horizontal communication and it can be official unofficial written 
and oral. Communication technology selection is uh, very important uh, for effective communication and the factors deciding on the technology selection are things like uh, is the team collocated or is it a distributed team and what about the data security uh, access rights so all these things and the cost of course so all these are the parameters that should be uh, that will impact on your technology selection for communication then methods for communication it can be notice boards uh, newsletters so there are two types of communication push communication and pull communication push means we are sending information to the uh, participants maybe i am recording this video and i am sending this as an email to the participants of the course that is a push communication at the same time if i publish all these videos in our website and whoever wants to see it can come and see it that is an example for pull uh, communication so similarly projects can also adopt uh, either push or pull or both so notice boards newsletters is an example for push communication press releases annual reports emails and intranets web portals and other information repositories projects can have their own websites and status can be published in that website and whoever wants to see the status they can come to the website and see the status phone calls presentations team briefings focus groups formal or informal face to face meetings consultation groups or staff forums or special interest groups so all these things helps uh, in effective communication during project execution then communication skills as a project manager one should have the communication competence uh, when we say communication it is not about english speaking skills because our english speaking skills may not be of much use if you are executing this project in a in an environment where uh, the prominent language is not english so the competence to communicate in the language or the official language of the project uh, that is very important and uh, feedback ability to accept feedback and uh, take action on it that is important for effective communication and body language is also very very important for communication and presentations presentation skills uh, also matters for effective project communications then project management information systems uh electronic project management tools electronic communications management social media management here we are talking about uh, your scheduling applications uh, time accounting systems cost accounting systems uh, project dashboards uh, maybe your erp systems which communicates to the project management systems everything put together we call them as the project management information systems sometimes it can be an integration of all these things or it can be a standalone systems which can do all these functions together then project reporting is about collecting and distributing project information we should ensure that the right information Uh, reaches the the right stakeholders in the right format at the right time the interpersonal and team skills talking about active listening conflict management 
cultural awareness, meeting management, networking, and political awareness. Active listening, it is the ability to listen in, you know, intensively uh, to a person to really understand what he's saying or what he's trying to communicate. Then conflict management. In project situations, there can be conflicts. So as a project manager, one should be able to manage these conflicts. Cultural awareness. <clears throat> this is very, very important uh, because uh, in, in one of the trainings, uh, it was it it was a it was a uh, the majority of the participants were from a particular uh, belongs to belong to a particular nationality so i was talking to them and i was asking questions generally and nobody was responding to me i thought there is a there is something wrong uh, about me or about the questions uh, and you know, later on when i spoke to somebody on a one-to-one -one basis they said in their culture uh, if somebody asks a question generally nobody is supposed to respond but if you point that question to one individual then that person will respond whereas in my country you somebody ask a question anybody can answer it or multiple people will answer it, even for a generic question. Whereas in that country, only if you ask a specific question to a specific person, that person will respond. So without this understanding, if you start communicating to them, it will not be effective. Then meeting management is also very, very important. Uh, you should have an agenda for the meeting, start time for the meeting, end time for the meeting, minutes of the meeting, and uh, the general uh, norms for the meeting. Uh, these things are very important. And political awareness also is required because in a meeting there can be multiple informal groups and we should know the, the equations between them and how the dynamics between them uh, to effectively uh, communicate to them. Uh, for meetings, we should for professional meetings, we should have an agenda. We should have a specific start and finish times. Uh, appropriate participants are invited. You should stay on topic. You should manage expectations, issues, and conflicts during the meeting. You should record actions and responsibilities and distribute the minutes of the meeting uh, at the end of the meeting. So with this, uh, we have completed uh, the communication aspects during the project execution phase. And this video is a part of the project management learning environment of the Project Management Research Institute. And if you want to access more of these videos, please visit our website at pmri.in. Thank you very much.